Hi guys, it's Jada Joe. I just got done with a workout, hence my very sweaty hair. I wanted this week's video to be episode two of Learning to Love Me series. I was gonna talk about my relationship with food and show you guys some of my favorite meals, etc., etc. However, because it's life and life doesn't always go as planned, this week did not go as I was hoping it would go. Um, this week has not been my week, to say the least. I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna see the doctor next week, but basically I have just been so exhausted to the point where it just doesn't make sense. Like I, I can't get out of bed. There was a couple days where I literally only was awake for school and then I slept the rest of the day and the rest of the night. So weird, I've just been unreasonably exhausted and I've been having some other symptoms as well. And so I'm gonna see a doctor next week, but I was gonna show you guys some meals that I was doing and all this stuff, but I haven't even had much of an appetite this week. I've kind of had to force myself to eat and force myself to get out of bed. Um, but I'm trying to push through it. I'm trying not to sleep all day, but also trying to honor my body and listen to my body and give it the rest that it needs. However, today I, did try to get up after getting a full night of sleep. I got up, I did some grocery shopping, um, I just worked out, and now I'm gonna shower up and I'm going to eat some dinner. Super fun stuff, I know. Um, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm having for dinner just because it's like my favorite meal ever. I've been obsessed with it recently. I did wanna make some sort of video just because I do wanna be posting every week. However, it's just not the video that I was hoping for. Like I've said six times in this video. I am gonna shower my stinky booty now and then I will show you guys what's up. I don't know. I'm just gonna make this little vlog, I guess. All right. I just got out of the shower. Now I got my big t-shirt on and my little boxers. Did some skincare that always makes me feel better. I've been so stressed this week, so my face is reflecting that. Did some skincare. Always feel better after that. Put a hair mask in. Just self-love. Am I right? I've just not been feeling well, so I'm trying to treat myself, love myself. I want to show you guys these books I got. Actually, I'm only going to show you this one. <laughs> if, questions for the soul. So it's a whole book of questions to get to know yourself. Soul searching, you know? I'll read a random one. If you had to say what you associate the sound of ringing bells with, what would it be? Okay, that one wasn't that good. But there's some really good questions in here, I swear. If one of your children were to tell you the one thing that would most upset you, what would it be? That's interesting, isn't it? Just like really deep questions or questions that you would never think about. And now you've got to think about them and think about who you are and all that jazz. I love it. So I'm super excited for this book. Okay, you guys, I'm definitely much more excited about this food that I'm about to show you than anyone else would ever get about this food. But I'm so excited because it's so good and I'm not allergic to it. And it's just... I get so excited about food that I can eat that's good that I'm allergic to. So, let me show you. <laughs> we got quinoa here. A lot of quinoa because I'm going to take it to work for the next two days and then I'll eat it throughout the week. Whatever. A lot of quinoa. And then I have some... One second. And then I have these Mary's Gone Crackers. Jalapeno crackers. And then I have this... Organic original keto cauliflower hummus. I'm not keto or on any diet like that, but this is hummus that I'm not allergic to. So, hence I choose this one. And then the all star of this whole meal Yellow Bird organic sriracha, organic lime, garlic, and date blend. Basically, a hot sauce that I can eat that I'm not allergic to. So, I'm out of breath because I'm so excited about this. So, I put the hot sauce on the quinoa, mix it up, spicy quinoa. Then I get a cracker, I dip it in the hummus, and then I dip it in the spicy quinoa. And so you have this like sandwich cracker thing of all these amazing flavors and nutritious goodness. And then you take a bite and it's just like, and the flavor just burns. It's so good, like I can't even, I can't stop smiling because I get so excited about this because I love it so much. So try it. Please, can someone else try it and just affirm that this is so good because my family would just roll their eyes at me if I showed them this, but it's literally my secret little 
Oh, so good. It's so good. I'm just going to eat out of this bowl and out of the actual tin of hummus and out of this because these are all my food. I'm not sharing with anyone. And people also say don't watch movies or videos while you're eating because then you'll just mindlessly eat. But hey, I literally don't care. This is a me night and I'm going to do what I want. So I'm going to watch some TV and eat this goodness. Okay? Okay. I'm so excited. <laughs> that big of a chunk or maybe it does I don't know I ate so much so much quinoa like three-fourths of the hummus and like three-fourths of the crackers <laughs> it's so good that's what I'm telling you guys I can't stop once I start it's so good it was exactly what I needed hallelujah okay sorry for the awful lighting I finished eating like 15 minutes ago and another one of my symptoms that I was talking about earlier is that after I eat food my face puffs up. I don't know why it happens. I'm not allergic to the foods that I'm eating or else my stomach would get really bad. But for some reason my face just puffs up after I eat. And I got this jade roller because it's supposed to help to depuff your face. And I've been trying to use it. It doesn't do anything for me. Like I just sit here like this and rub it. Maybe there's like a certain technique that I'm not doing. But I just sit here like this, trying to de-puff de my face, and it never works. Um, but I guess I'll still do it, because this thing was expensive. This thing was so expensive. So yeah, that's been my life. I just sit here like this <laughs> after I eat. I don't know why my face puffs up. I don't know if you can tell right now. You probably can't. Even my family, they always say that um, they can't tell. And that they don't believe me. But I will insert pictures right here before and after I eat and tell me if you can tell a difference because there definitely is a difference and I can feel it in my face my cheeks feel like there's like stuff in them I don't even know how to explain it but yeah I'm finished eating I'm super full so now I need to lay down for a little bit because I'm so full because that was so good and I ate so much food I want to show you guys a book that I've been reading just kidding and I'm gonna start reading this is hopefully me keeping myself accountable if you know me you know that I'm one so bad at reading even starting books is so hard for me because my brain just goes a million different directions and it's so hard for me to press pause and read a book and if i do start i never finish like i don't know the last book that i actually finished um but i've started a lot of good books this is what i'm reading well that i'm gonna start reading it's called survival of the prettiest the science of beauty i'm so excited because you know, I haven't actually read the, the description of this book, but I'm assuming that it's talking about how society chooses what's beautiful and that standard is constantly changing. We try to live up to society's standards, but who's to tell us that our bodies aren't beautiful and that we have to look this certain way to be pretty? Because that's just silly, because we're all made so differently and that is the beauty of God's creation. I don't know if you guys believe in signs from like the universe or signs from God or whatever, but you guys know I just started that series about loving myself because I've been beating myself up to the max, just feeling so ugly and worthless, yada, yada, yada. And then I was laying in my garage on my yoga mat and looking for something to put my computer on to raise it up a little bit. And I found these books and this one was on top of it and is literally survival of the prettiest. And that's what I'm struggling with right now. I don't know guys, I don't know if you believe in signs, but I definitely do, I 100% believe in signs. I'll make the littlest thing mean something, I do not know how to explain it, but I just, I love believing in signs because I don't see, what's the worst that could happen if you believe in a sign? You go for an opportunity because you think it's a sign that you should and then you fail at that opportunity and then you learn something, like if that's the worst then I'll just keep believing in signs, but anyway. Excited for this book. Thank you guys for watching this vlog. Um, I'm just gonna keep going like this and reading my book and do some editing. Um, thanks for putting me in a better mood because filming videos always does that. So 
here's to hopefully having a better week next week. See you guys for hopefully episode two of Learning to Love Me. Bye!